Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash, the Ba'anas to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth, and Shalom to the mighty Akim and Akwa out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from, the, from this final captivity. And today's topic is going to be entitled, It Will Only Hurt for a Moment. Alright? So the reason why I'm doing this lesson is because I just want to um, let Israel know basically that um, the trials and tribulations that we're going to be facing, you know, during Jacob's trouble or just in general, you know, being in this truth when when things are coming to an end. I just want to let you know that it's uh, comparatively going to be a very short trial that we're going to go through compared to, you know, what we're used to now or just, you know, being in captivity in general because, you know, that's all our lives. But then when the actual, you know, climax comes, the very the actual real hard part, you know, that's it's not going to be it's not going to be a long time, all right? And I'm going to, you know, show that with, with, with Saki. I'm going to show that with scriptures, okay? So firstly, Daniel chapter 12 from the top. And at that time shall Michael stand up, and the great prince which standeth, standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a, a nation. Even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Okay? So now, firstly, alright, uh, there's going to be, it says, there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time, okay. So basically, you know, that's it's it, that basically means that it's going to be a very trying time. Like it's going to be worse than it's ever been before, okay. So that, that's basically the short rundown of that. So, and going on, going on to it, you know, while it is going to be a very like the worst time ever. At the same time, we're going to be delivered. At, cause, as it is saying, at and at that same, Sakia, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Okay? So, during the time, during the worst time, we're going to be delivered if we are part of, you know, if the Most High decides to have mercy on us, a part, being a part of the one third. Alright? So, now, under so that ties in to what I was saying. So, basically, you have to understand that, yes, it's going to be a very tr trying time. Like, you know, they could be torturing you, trying to kill, trying to kill you, or anything, anything horrible. You can imagine something horrible. Maybe you can think something, it, it'll be, it, it's worse than what you think, okay? But... At the end of the day, the main thing is that the main thing is that uh, you're going during that time. The Most High is able to deliver you, and He may deliver you, or you may die. Okay, and that's where uh, verse two comes in. Okay, because you know some of us have to die as martyrs. All right, but if you die as a martyr, or, all right, we read verse two, and many of them. That sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Okay, so when if you if you die during that um, slakia, if you die during that time of trouble, and then you uh, re, you when you wake up, you're gonna be basically in the kingdom. Okay, you're basically gonna be all that trouble is gonna be done. So if you basically if you die, then you're you were lucky enough to avoid some of the worst things that they could have done. All right, but if you're actually going through the 
um, the difficulties, then you know that's um, you could you will be delivered. All right. So, you know, like there's there's mercy and there's um, the, that those two uh, separate. Um, instances of of mercy and uh, basically you know it, it's not going to be that bad because yeah a lot, a lot of people most people will be afraid of dying but, or afraid of the pain of dying but you know after after you uh, get past that you know it, it's smooth smooth sailing alright and uh a precept to that is Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7 alas for that day is great so that none is like it so like as as you as we were saying there's not going to be a day worse than Jacob's trouble okay it is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it okay so that's basically what it is Jacob's trouble it's going to be the worst that it's ever been for Israel but of course but as it's written we will be saved out of it, okay? If you have faith in the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and the Most High Yahweh decides to have mercy on you, then He can save you. He can prevent you from dying. Or you could die and then, um, and then, um, or you could die and then you can wake up to everlasting life. And I believe there's a precept to that. I think this is harder to find, but let me see. Um, oh, it's in, um, I believe, Second Ezra or Tobit. Slakia, one one moment. Oh, I think I have it here. Lock you one moment. Okay, Second Ezra, chapter thirteen. Okay. Verse 23. Okay, so Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 23. He that shall endure the peril in that time hath kept himself, that they that be fallen into danger are such as have works and faith toward the, toward the Almighty. All right. So if you endure, um, endure the peril, endure of the peril of uh, Jacob's trouble, and basically, you know, hold fast, you know, stay faithful and whatnot. Um, basically, you know, you, you get you'll get to I guess live through, and you'll be you'll basically be delivered. All right. But they that be fallen into danger are such as have work. So those that have um you know done the work you know preached this gospel you know done what the most high wanted them to do to push out this word and truth so that we can be delivered all right or tried to fulfill the prophecy of spreading this truth to the four corners all right verse 24 know this therefore that they which be left behind are more blessed than they that be that be dead that they which be left behind are more blessed than they that are dead so okay here so basically they that are Slakia they which be left behind are more blessed meaning that they that are um, 
uh, actually going through the um, the uh, tribulations, you know, go after having needing to endure, having to suffer, you know, for the sake uh, of of this truth. Okay, they're going to be more blessed than they that are dead because the ones that are dead, they're just they get to wake up to um, to everlasting life. All right. And uh, so another precept, you know, going into basically understanding the quickness or the swiftness of said punishment. Psalm chapter 30, verse 5. For his love, Slakia. Psalm chapter 30, verse 5. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Okay, so it, like it says, his anger endureth but a moment. So it's only for a moment, okay? It's temporary. Because after his uh, anger subsides, then when we have his favor, we're going to have life. All right? Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. So after you get past the night, then you're going to experience the joy. All right, of having gone through that chastisement or punishment or that or the wrath of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. All right, and another precept, Isaiah chapter fifty-four, verse seven: For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. Okay, so we're been, we've been forsaken for a small moment. Okay, understand that the trials and tribulations that we have to go through it will be for a small moment furthering what I was saying how when things get really crazy and all the Jacob's trouble actually comes and all the troubles actually comes you know we're not going to be going through it 100% it's only going to be for a moment and then we're going to be delivered or we're going to be or we're, or we're going to have to die as martyrs all right and, you know, with great mercies will the Most High gather us. We're going to be gathered and delivered out of our peril. All right? And the final uh, precept, Slakia, this just froze on me. Hopefully this not close down. Slakia, it just it just froze on me. Let me get it in my actual thing. In Second Chronicles, Slakia, Second Corinthians chapter four, Slakia. A moment, it's messing up. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. Um, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Alright, so our light, it's not a, a light affliction. It's going to be bad, basically. But, base, but um, at the end of the day, what we're going through is... Is going to reward us heavily. It's going to reward us greatly. 
All right, that's basically um, that's basically the takeaway from it. All right, so public should understand that you we have we have to we have to go through you know trials and tribulations and you know when it, it not I'm not not saying to you know prepare for the worst but basically just understand that when the time comes it's uh when the actual trouble comes it's not going to be long a lo very long thing because you can think like um oh for example like when Jake gets pulled over by the by the cops like it's, you you um instinctively you get extremely scared all right but then you know at the end of the day, if he just you know gives you a ticket or whatever then you know then it that just passes all right so basically basically that's the same um it's the same thing so yes it's going to be a very trying time and it's going to be you may you might be afraid of it which you shouldn't be afraid of it you know don't fear man fear don't fear man which can only destroy the body but fear the most high yahweh that can destroy both body and soul all right and the spirit slot here so at the end of the day it's only going to be it's a light affliction okay comparatively compared to our eternal weight of glory that we're waiting on all right so un so again understand that we have to go through the trial and tribulation it will only hurt for a second and then after that we will get our our glory all right and with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakwadash. And with, I hope this lesson was edifying. And with that, I want to say Shalom.